So in my hand, I hold two LESs, one second lieutenant straight from Bolick, and another specialist that's been in the Army for five years. I'm sorry, you guys, neither one of these LESs are mine. So, this shit is upside down. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in back into my channel. As you can see by the title, we're gonna be talking about something very, very juicy, and that is military pay. So I know that there are a lot of videos out there that's on military pay. However, in my video, I'm gonna be specifically talking about those that's gonna be stationed out here in Korea. So before we get into it, there's one important thing that you guys need to know. So there is a difference in pay between those who are stationed in Korea and those who are on rotation in Korea. So if you're on rotation in Korea, there are some pay entitlements that you will not receive because this is not your permanent duty station. So this is what the soldier got paid for the month of April. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the most important data to pull from this LES. In the red box, there are pay grade of 01 and have zero years of service. So once again, they are straight out of bowl like they probably got about maybe eight to 10 months in the army. In the yellow box, this indicates that the soldier has no dependents. This means they are not married, no kids, and they're taking care of no one back in the States. In the green box, this indicates that they are paying taxes for the state of Pennsylvania. And finally, in the pink box, this indicates the JFTR, which is the Joint Federal Travel Regulation. This sole purpose is to dictate the soldier's COLA, which is the cost of living. So now let's jump into the entitlements in the blue box. This is what the soldier gets on a monthly basis. We're gonna go straight down the line with this one. So the base pay for an 01 that's been for less than two years, they're paid $3,287.10 every month. This soldier's BAS, which is the basic allowance for substance, so their food, they're paid $256.68. Their BAH, which is the basic allowance for housing, is $13.20. So remember, going back to the yellow box, the soldier has zero dependents to take care of back in the States, and they also live in the barracks, therefore they do not receive BH. I'm not quite sure why they're receiving 1320, but you know what, we're just gonna go ahead and move forward. So next is the HDP location, the hazardous duty pay location. This soldier is in Camp Casey, and the HDP for everyone there, they receive $150. Last but not least for entitlements is the COLA which is the cost of living allowance. This pay is calculated based on the JFTR location that's found in the pink box. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you all how to calculate the COLA. So one thing to note is that your COLA varies uh, by probably by a couple dollars, you know, so just to let you know every month it's not gonna be the same. I just want you guys to know that before we get into this. So go to Google and type in Camp Casey COLA. Select the first one, and then it should bring you to this page. So we're gonna do April 1st to the 15th. Uh, make sure the locality code is correct, and the pink box that says KR177, make sure you type that in. Also, make sure you put the correct career location because there are several of them. Now remember, this LES is for a second lieutenant in 01. Make sure the pay grade says 01. They're less than two years of service have no dependents, and put that they do not live in the barracks. And then calculate that, bring it to this page. So from the first, from April 1st to the 15th, this is how much COLA it is. We're gonna type that into the calculator. And we're gonna go back to this page, and now we're gonna calculate for April 15th to the end of the month. And the same thing. So we're gonna add, we're gonna multiply this by two, and this is what we get. And here on the LES it says $473.33, okay? Only off by one cent, but this is pretty accurate, guys. That is how you calculate the COLA. So with that being said, with everything calculated, this second lieutenant receives a whopping $4,108.31 before taxes every single month. Now remember, the only thing from this entitlement section that's taxed is the base pay. Everything is not taxed. So now let's move on to the orange box, which indicates the deductions that's taken out of the entitlements every month. So this soldier is paying Pennsylvania state taxes 
They also have $171.86 coming out of their paycheck every month for their retirement plan. And then mid-month pay, which they were paid on the 15th, is $1,666.24. All right, so now that you know what to look for in LES, so let's take a look at the specials LES and compare it to the lieutenants. So as you can see in the red box, the specialist, which is an E4, has been in the Army for about five years. They pay New York City taxes, indicated in the green box. And in the yellow box, you can see that they are married. Their spouse is located in Brooklyn, New York City, so that's why they receive BAH. In the pink box, they are located in Suwon, which is not that hazardous, so they only receive $50. The BAS is deducted because the low one listed are mandated to eat at the defect. Based on all that information, this specialist is receiving a great amount of BAH for leaving their spouse in Brooklyn, New York. Their paycheck for every first and the 15th is $2,936.20. All right, guys, so as you can see, the specialist is making a lot more than lieutenant. This is mainly because the time in service. So once that lieutenant starts accumulating some years under their belt, they'll receive a lot more pay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a comment, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know what you think about this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.